And welcome back to the morning show. Garage sales offer the perfect opportunity to stretch a buck by sifting through what most would consider trash and finding the treasure. And here with some tips on what to look for while you're trying to strike gold at your next yard sale pit stop is Max Smirnoff. He is from Museum Antiques and Collectibles. Max, good to see you. Thank you for having me. No worries. We're going to start with the uh, jewelry because I think a lot of people are drawn to that if they happen to see one at a yard sale. How can you tell if it's real or fake? Well, great question. The best way to strike gold in a garage sale is with actually some gold, right? Mm. So often we go to garage sales, we see a variety of items similar like this laid out on a table and um, to save yourself some time and to figure out the easiest trick is just to bring a small magnet. Okay. Okay, so you okay? Are you gonna look suspicious at all if I'm holding? Or no? Just with, who with cares? Looking <laughs> suspicious is actually picking each item and looking it through a loop and things like that. Then you oh, know the geez. audience. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you get your magnet. Do you have some real gold here that we can? So you see have this? a magnet. Typically, gold and silver are not magnetic. I mean, non. not magnetic. So, for example, if I run a magnet here. Not, no, good. not good. Okay, okay. So not there good. you go. Yeah. Okay, we can. <laughs> that is no longer under consideration. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. one. Oh. We. Th I think. All right, let's put that one aside. Okay, how 50 cents, <laughs> sir? 50 cents. Co coins is another thing. So typically, silver coins are not much. So you could run the magnet like that all of a sudden. Oops. Mm -hmm. Not good. These coins, let's put them aside. Okay, Ooh. now that's the metal, that's jewelry. What about diamonds? If I see something, I think, how can I tell if it's a real diamond well, or not? Great question. There is actually a trick. Most of these things are very, very um, easy to do. A diamond, if you pick up a diamond and you look at it straight up, they all look beautiful. They all sparkle, they all look mm -hmm. fantastic. However, if you turn it just on a 45 degree angle and you look, you will see a dark, dark little dot right in the stone, and that Ford right away tells you it's not a real diamond. Mm. Okay. Right. What about collectibles? I once sold a Mickey Mouse phone, and I didn't think anything of it until people started swarming. Yes, and I was like, what is this? Why are they going well, after with them? With collectibles, uh, the funny thing I always like to say, just like business, they always say location, location, location. With collectibles, it's condition, condition, condition. Mm. Okay. One of the more important things to look for, as you see these cast iron toys, looks old, looks valuable, but right away, if you look at the screw, you will see a Phillips, mm -hmm. a Phillips head. Typically means a little bit newer, probably a reproduction. You always want to see a flathead. Flatheads means that it's made a long time ago, therefore uh, has a lot of value. Most of these items, it's very rarely that you find that Picasso sitting in the basement and you strike it gold and you win million, you get millions right. and millions of dollars. What some of these tricks and tips could help you with is maybe not buy you a new house, but maybe help with the mortgage payment. Okay. You could buy something for three dollars, sell it for two hundred, and that's pretty much how you strike it rich at garage sales. Okay, let me ask you this, because uh, I think things that are handmade are usually pretty valuable or more valuable. If something's got a barcode on it, does that affect its value at all? Absolutely. For example, stuff like this, you see dolls, you see toys. One, a very, very, very uh, easy trick to learn is that any time that you pick up a toy and you see, wow, it's in great condition, it's in the box, oh, barcode, newly made, mass produced, not very valuable. But this, for example, also a Barbie, looks nice, uh, all case, everything, no barcode. Easy, easy buy, easy buy right there. Easily up to about $300, that doll right there. Comic books, a lot of people are collectors. Comic books, always, always uh, people are getting rid of that, those huge, huge boxes of comic books. Very, very simple. Don't need to know a lot about them. Just know that if it's anything that sells, uh, that's priced 10 cents or lower, collectible, buy them all day. 15 cents, 25 cents, 75 cents chances are 95% of the time you're going to strike out. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to get my magnet after this <laughs> show. That yeah. is fantastic. Get a magnet and uh, <laughs> basically if you have any questions you could always um, contact us at museum.ca. All right. Max Smirnoff, great to see you this morning, sir. Thank you so much Absolutely. for some great Thank tips. Thank you for having me. All right. Get out there and strike it rich, everybody.